Let's begin our tidbit. Praise the Lord in Jesus' name. Turn with me to Deuteronomy 28 in Jesus' name. The Bible says in verse 9, The Lord shall establish thee as a holy people. Amen? Amen. All right. And he has sworn unto thee, If thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God and walk in his ways. How many want to walk in the ways of the Lord? Yes. We all want to, we don't all know the ways of the Lord, but we want to. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now in verse 8, it says, The Lord shall command the blessing upon thee in thy storehouses and all that thou settest thine hand unto. How many want God to bless you and everything you put your hand to? Amen. Yes. Praise the Lord. Then over here in 2 Peter, we need to read this because this is powerful information. That when you realize according to chapter 1 verse 3, according to his divine power, has given unto us how many things? All, All things. things. All things that pertain to life and godliness. Through the knowledge of him that hath called us to glory and virtue. Whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises. Everybody say promises. 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 God has given you promises that he's going to do things in Jesus' name. Amen. So how many want to get the promises completed in your life in the name of Jesus? I'll show you how. When you go to Romans chapter 4, we're looking at verse 17. And when you grasp on to what I'm teaching you right now in this mighty tidbit, you can start having the promises of God be opened up to you and whatever you put your hand to is going to prosper. And as it is written, I have made thee a father of many nations. Before him whom he believed, even God, who quickeneth the dead, and calleth those things which be not as though they were. So calling things that be not as though they are is a promise of God. How many are calling those things that are not as though they are, which is a promise of God? When you start declaring the word that you know that's in your heart because you believe it, you're going to receive it. Say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We've got to walk like Abraham, verse 19, and be not, what? Weak in faith, he considered not his own body dead, when he was about a hundred years old, neither yet the Dennis and Sarah's womb. He staggered not at the promise of God. Here you go. God's promise said to him he'd be a father of many nations. Amen. But how many know that it took a while before the promise came to pass? So he didn't stagger. He didn't go by the unbelief, but he was strong in faith, giving glory to God. And here it is, verse 21 and being fully persuaded. You need to be fully persuaded in the name of Jesus, amen? When you are fully persuaded, you know that what it is you believe in your heart, you're gonna speak with your mouth, amen. amen? That's when it happens. So it's right here in Mark chapter 11, verse 24. Therefore I say unto you what things soever you desire when you pray or when you speak. Believe that you receive them and you shall have them. So the belief part in your heart, knowing that God's promises are true. Therefore, according to Romans 4, 7, you speak out the promise of God, and you believe it in your heart, you say what it is, you shall have it. Simple as that. That's how faith works. And when you believe in your heart, you have it. It's a, good, it's a done deal. So, I believe, I receive. When did you get it? Ten days later. But I already got it today. I prayed for it. It's already mine. See, most people go, well, I don't see it. I don't feel it. I don't have it. Wrong. I ordered it over the internet. It's on the way. It's in the mail. I even got a tracking number. You're still walking by faith. You haven't received it yet, but you believed you have it because I paid for it over the internet through my credit card. And it's coming in the mail. I've got it coming. It's mine. It's the same thing with God. I believe that what he says, the promises of God are yes and amen, amen. And I believe in my heart. Therefore, I have received it already. It's a done deal. It's mine in Jesus' name. Amen. And all the people of God said, yes, yes and amen and amen. Praise the Lord.